Hello, this is Angela with Progress Permaculture. I'm making a really quick impromptu hi. video. Hi, B. Let's say hi. Uh, they're bringing in groceries. I am in the front yard and I got a request to talk about what's blooming in my garden right now. I don't have time to do a full garden tour and I'm sorry that it's kind of like rush hour, so there'll be cars going by and I'm all sweaty from the gym. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of what's blooming right now in my front yard. So this is my Hudson's Golden Gem Apple Tree, which you can see I keep it pruned really short so that it doesn't block the light coming into the house and also so I can reach all of the apples. And it is really starting to explode today into bloom. And then right next to it, I'm gonna pivot here. I have my pawpaws, they are starting to think about blooming and I will have to hand pollinate these. They're not quite ready to open yet. I have three pawpaws and I get much better fruit set if I hand pollinate because pawpaws are fly pollinated and sometimes it's too rainy and windy and there aren't very many flies out. And then let me, let me walk around to another part of the garden here. This is a Stanley plum and it has just finished blooming. So you can't really tell because they're just barely, barely set, but they are little tiny baby plums. Also blooming rhubarb. Doesn't matter, you can let your rhubarb bloom. Doesn't kill it, doesn't hurt it, doesn't suck energy from, it's fine, let it bloom. I have a lot of strawberries. They're in bloom, I use them a lot for ground cover. I have um, native strawberries and then those are cultivated ones. I have two species of native strawberries. I have actually quite a bit of other content about strawberries. Okay, then this, look at this in my front yard. Uh, ignore the unfinished greenhouse. Y'all, everything is painted. The windows need one more coat of paint so that they will have three coats and then they're going in and then it will be done. Um, look at this bush cherry this year. Whoa, I have improved bush cherries, Romeo and Julia, and right now they are in full bloom. I'll go show you the other one. Okay, we're almost there tucking around in the food forest. My neighbor is vacuuming their car. So. so this is my other bush cherry and it blooms a tiny bit later. And it is a bush cherry that I basically had to like cut to the ground. It had brown rot and also really bad heat damage two years ago and it's starting to recover. Sorry for the, I live in Portland. Um, I find that it didn't matter when I had this cut back. My other bush cherry set really well because my next door neighbor has a cherry tree. This is a lilac that is called Mange, and I got it as a cutting from a lilac I bought for my dad. And since we've sold his house, um, I'm grateful to have this from my parents' garden. It's a very, very dark purple lilac. It will be blooming very soon. Check out my video on pruning lilacs. It is one of the most popular videos I've ever made. Service berries, not quite in bloom yet, but they will be in the next couple of days. And then I have two more to show you. Up here, I'm by the front door. So I'm by the front door. Oh, sorry, there's so much background noise. Front door, right in front of the front door, I have my clove currant planted. And this is because it smells amazing. So I love it right out the front door. Huge amount of blooms. It is a native. The fruit is edible. We don't actually eat a bunch of it. Um, makes good jam, but I don't like it for fresh eating. But it really brings in the native bees and it smells really lovely and spicy. Okay, last one for today because it's noisy. Euro European currant, also in bloom. Very small, diminutive, unobtrusive green flowers. This is a pink champagne currant. I bought, no, I didn't buy it. I got it about 13 years ago as a free plant off of Craigslist. Someone had a row of currants and said, come dig them out, I wanna get rid of them. And I came and dug all of them out. So I don't know the name of the variety. So let's kind of a look at what's blooming right now in this small part of my front yard. There's more, but it's loud. So I'll keep it at that and soon I'll be back and show you the backyard. Um, thanks for watching.